Hi class. Uh, I'm just making a little tutorial here now that we're getting into building our own tile sets. I'd actually started another video series about more sort of a 2D Mario style tile set, but I wanted to do one on a um, more kind of a top down um, uh, set of tiles so that you can build out your level when we start building our actual game in Scratch later on. So Generally speaking, when we're building tile sets, and this is actually going to be standard for everything you're doing for me, um, we're always going to be basing it off of kind of a 16 by 16 um, grid. Now, that doesn't mean that every single thing you build for the game has to be 16 by 16, but it does mean that you're going to be using that as your basic building block. So, you know, if you want to make something that's a little taller, you might go 16 by 32 or whatever it happens to be, it should always fit within that sort of a grid space. So when you make a new Piskel, first thing we're going to do is go to Resize. Uh, you can see the default size is set to 32 by 32. Um, so we're just going to drop this down to about 16 by 16 and hit Resize. If you want, you can also go to your Preferences, go to Grid, uh, enable the grid, and ha have it turn on here. Um, Leave it at one pixel. Uh, you can see it in a couple of different colors there. Uh, I don't think I really need it at the moment. So, so what I'm going to do here is we're we're wanting to make sort of a Zelda style or um, old Pokemon style uh, tile set. So we're going to start with um, basically a grass tile. So this is really easy to do. Um, and the important thing is to actually keep things as simple as possible. So let's go down to our primary color here. And when you're making your own, you're going to make, like, you don't have to follow this exactly, but I'm going to give you, like, the basics of uh, how to do this. Um, so I'm going to choose, I actually don't want an overly saturated color, so I'm going to go down and we're going to choose, like, this. The reason I don't want to have a super, super saturated color is that I do want my sprite when I make it like my um, characters and other things to really stand out nicely on top. And then we're going to go to our paint bucket tool here, B, and we're just going to fill this in. So it's kind of like a nice, uh, nice green tile. We're also going to do is go to our preferences. We're going to go to tile mode. And we're going to enable tile mode. So if we zoom out here, we've got a mask around it, which is why it's slightly lighter. But it's going to give us an idea of how our tile looks as part of a um, as part of a lar larger repeating pattern. Turn that off, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this down. I'm actually going to pull it a little bit into the blue, and then also a little darker. And uh, we are going to is that one pixel? One pixel. Okay, I'm going to actually change my tile mode here. Uh, resize it's in the grid. That's the issue. So grid spacing down to one pixel. That's why it was looking a little bit weird to me. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to add a few little uh, shading effects. Uh, just kind of to create a little bit of grass. Uh, we're going to add enough that it feels, so you can see it here, it's starting to take shape a little bit, that it feels uh, pretty solid. I actually don't, and really keep it to one sort of a pixel in size. So what I am going to do is right over, uh, it's actually looking pretty solid. So really, this is a very, very simple texture. Um, we might even throw a couple of highlights on it. Let's take a look and see how that looks. Let's go up a little bit. And uh, maybe on a couple of these. Add just a little bit of a, of a highlight here. Okay. So that looks pretty solid as far as grass textures go. Um, one of the ways we can also kind of 
adjust things or break them up from being too grid light like is to look how I put this one right here and you can see when I overlay it it actually shows up right here so I click down there and I've got something that now kind of overlaps that corner edge which is a good way to um, Good way to kind of break it up a little bit. I can actually go here and erase this one. Okay. And do one last one there. Okay. So I've gotten sort of a basic um, a basic grass tile, which I'm fairly happy with. And I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, we can go a little bit more complex or add extra elements later, but this will actually end up being our base grass tile. So what we're going to go to do now is hit save. We're going to title it um, uh, Overhead Grass Tile. And save it to your gallery. And we're also, as a description, we're just going to leave it as center. Um, and by center, it's good to have these because you're going to be putting them together later and you're going to be kind of tiling them a little bit and making them into other shapes. And so knowing this is just your center sort of general fill tile is a good thing to do. So we're going to save this to our gallery. Okay, let's go to our gallery. And you can see it's shown up here. Here you can see some of the other ones I was working on for more of a 2D style. Um, but we're going to use this one for now for this more sort of overhead. 